Hey, Gary, do you have 9,000 bucks? Yes and no. Well, do you or don't you? Yes, I have 9,000 bucks, and no, you can't borrow it. Aw, oh, come on. I really need 9,000 bucks. If you give me the money, I promise I will pay you back. With interest, even. How does one quarter of 1% sound? Sounds great, right? Is he asking you for money, too? Stay out of this, Skin Flint. This is between me and Lady Chatterley's lover here. I am on the verge of being rich beyond the dreams of avarice to finally ascend to the luxury penthouse apartment that I so richly deserve. I just need some seed money. You want to buy seeds? Good thinking! I have it on good authority that after the 2016 chicken uprising, seeds for crops will be more precious than gold. AJ, you're rich. I, I keep forgetting because you act poor, look poor, and smell poor. Can you give me 9,000 bucks? I'm not rich. My dad is rich. I get a trust fund check. Then can your dad give me the money? He won't miss it. I bet he spends 9000 just on toilet paper for the week. My dad doesn't use toilet paper. He uses hand-tooled ocelot leather. $4,000 a roll! The same brand that Kanye West uses on his hinder. Wow. Can, can you say that again slower and with more emphasis on the cost? Why do you want 9,000 bucks? Not want, need. Desperately, cravingly, need. See, there's this big time hoity-toity social network just for rich people called Netropolitan. And it costs 9,000 bucks to join. It's Facebook, but only for rich, awesome people. And I want in. Why don't you pray for the money? Shut up. How is joining some exclusive social network gonna make you rich? Do I have to spell it out to you? Once I am rubbing digital elbows with the super rich, I can then start exposing them to my groundbreaking money-making ideas. Like the drive through baptism chain? Or your cable channel that just has a camera pointed to the sky called Second Coming Watch? Or that line of chastity wear for teen girls called No Way Jose? Exactly! See, I've tried to get those things off the ground with you schlubs, but with no success. Those rich people aren't as dumb as you guys. They know money when they smell it, and they'll smell it all over me like stink on a homeless guy. Sure they will. Why do you want to be like the 1% anyway? They're just a bunch of out-of-touch asshats drunk on the power and privilege that their money gets them. Spoken like a true liberal boob. Don't you get it? They're better than you because they have mountains of lucre. It is the duty of every American to struggle and strive to become just like them. And if you fail, then you didn't work hard enough. Actually, most of the super rich people my dad knows inherited their wealth. A lot of them have never worked a day in their life. Then their forefathers worked hard and feathered the family nests good. Either way, they are the winners and I intend to join their victory celebration. Now someone give me the money. I promise to remember you losers once I'm looking down on you from my golden throne. Blow me. The whole line about how anybody in the U.S. can become filthy rich through hard work is a bucket of horse mess. It's a lie that the rich tell the poor to give them hope and to keep them in place. No, huh? Yes, huh? And the worst part is, is that some of these rich dickbags actually believe that if you live in the U.S. and aren't rich, then it's your fault for not working hard enough. And then they influence lawmakers into making decisions on welfare policies that makes it harder for struggling people to get on their feet. No, they don't. You've been brainwashed by the liberal left to believe these things. I pity you. And hate you a little. Don't say that. I hate that term. Me too. Liberal left is overused. I prefer Libby Lunkheads. It's more insulting, but in a way that you can say on TV. Not that brainwashed. I hate that term. It's used too much and incorrectly. I was using it right. No, you weren't. Brainwashing is a technique where the person whose brainwash has their independent thoughts, morals, and ethics sublimated against their will and controlled by a third party. Exactly. 
Jason has been brainwashed by the Libby Lunkheads to believe that rich people are evil and that poor people are bright, shiny unicorns of goodness who float around on clouds of love and crap kittens of purity. What part of Against Their Will did you not understand? Yeah, nobody forced me to think the way I think. I don't have anyone controlling my thoughts. I know for a fact that if Rachel Maddow asks you to set yourself on fire and jump in front of a bus filled with special needs four-year-olds, you do it. You leave my sweet, sweet Rachel out of this. Just because I agree with other people who think like I do doesn't mean I've been brainwashed. Uh, yes it does. No it doesn't. Brainwashing implies that your position is the correct position by default, and that if Jason hadn't been manipulated by a nefarious liberal agenda, then he would be as willing to suck the cock of the money to lead as you are. And I can tell you the Money Delete has access to the finest oral pleasure services in the world! They don't need yours! They all need mine. Look, it's pretty simple. The way I think and the stuff I believe is in the right and true. And anybody that doesn't believe it is obviously got that way through brainwashing. It's a lazy term used by lazy people to discount differing opinions. I'm right, and anyone who disagrees with me has been forced to their position by outside forces that are wrong. It shows just how inflexible, unrealistic, and stupid you are. Don't you even feel slightly uncomfortable using the term brainwash considering how some religious organizations and cults used it? No, because all those guys were crazy. You guys just back off. English is my language, and I'll use it any way I want. If I say that Jason has been brainwashed by the Libby Lunkheads, then that's what I mean. I'm not sure where or how it happened, but it probably started when he was a kid watching that communist manifesto masquerading as a children's show. Sesame Street? No, the other one. The one that says that everybody's special. Mr. Rogers? Yeah, he indoctrinated you with all of that you're special, there's nobody else in the world like you crap. You take back what you said about Fred Rogers. Make me, you know it's true. Probably had hidden Libby Lunkhead messages in the show. Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood was a wonderful program for small kids. And there was a hidden message in the Magic Trolley's bell. But it was for delicious cookie recipes! Brainwashing is brainwashing, whether it's cookies or communism. Fine, if that's your definition, then you know what? I think you've been brainwashed. Me? Ha! Nobody has ever been in my thinker with soap and water. All of my thoughts and opinions are my own. You sure about that? Positive. Nobody forced me to be a Christian conservative. I just saw it for the glorious way of life and thought that it was and accepted it into my heart. Ain't nobody programmed Fundy Q Monster, not like you guys. Okay, if I've been brainwashed, then deprogram me. Say what now? Yeah, you're saying that Jason is under the control of the liberal left. Save him then. How am I supposed to do that? I'm no doctor thinker. Well, first you need to kidnap him, and then you need to take him to a remote location and spend weeks breaking his evil lefty programming. I don't know, AJ. Those evil liberals have been programming me for a long time. It could take months, maybe years. I mean, I believe in socialized medicine and limitless public assistance. That could take decades then. There is no way that I'm going to invest that kind of time and effort to deprogram this jerk. All he has to do is admit that he's wrong about what he believes and then start believing what I believe based on little to no real evidence on my part aside from my adamant insistence that he is wrong. So basically what you're already doing. Right. The absolute least you could do. Exactly. Now back to the subject at hand. Who is giving me $9,000? Well, I would, but I just receive instructions from my liberal handlers through my brain implant that I am not to help you. You get those messages too? AJ, buddy, pal, amigo, help a brother out. I just want what all Americans want to smugly drink champagne while soaking in a solid platinum bathtub while personal assistants hang on my every command. Help me realize this humble dream. Nope. Having rubbed shoulders with the 1%, I can safely say I want fewer of them. Gary? Go fuck yourself. Well, does anyone know how to get an evite from Ello? They may not be as rich as Metropolitan, but they're exclusive as all get out. <laughs> Hey 
Hello, my fellow Opinion Villagers. Today is Friday, October 3rd, 2014, and it's Borderline Personality Disorder Awareness Day, Lee's National Denim Day, National Diversity Day, World Smile Day, and Yom Kippur. Famous dead people celebrating their birthdays today are Stevie Ray Vaughan, Gore Vidal, and James Harriet. And now on to the questions. First up, Jenny Tokame asks, intimate question for AJ. What about the conspiracy to cover up the fact that Jack the Ripper was in fact the Loch Ness Monster? Hey, I know Nessie. Nessie is a good friend of mine and I won't stand you slandering her good name. I mean, come on, her kids could be watching YouTube. What if they see this question? Just because you are large with a long neck and have flippers doesn't mean that you are a serial killer. We need to defeat these plesiosaur stereotypes. Me the Mies asks, Intimate question for Imaginary Gary. You work with porn a lot. Do you know or have you ever worked with Trekkie Monster? Trekkie and I have several projects that are currently in the concept phase. I'm the talent and he's the producer. He can be really difficult to work with though. When we start filming, we have to stop every two minutes so he can have a wank break. Travis Heimbaugh asks, Intimate question for our prince of puppetry, our sultan of skepticism, our continuous little kaiju groupie, meet Jason. You've mentioned once or twice that you've been trained as an actor. Do you still get to do that? Been in anything good lately? Ever use one of the puppet's voices on stage? Um, I did a lot of theater for about 10 years before coming to YouTube. Um, and uh, no, so I, it's been about four years, not since 2010. Um, I was an actor, a playwright, um, I did set design. I created puppets for other people to, uh, to use on stage. Uh, but I never really came up, I never really used any of the uh, puppets' voices in any of the characters I did um, because I created them especially just for you. No, 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 not all the fans, just just you, Travis. Just for you. I know you recently subbed, but it, it, believe me, all of this has been preparation for you. That's creepy. Yoshi Green asks, intimate question for me, Jason. What is your favorite classic game system and game? Um, well, I've owned a lot. I mean, all the way back to the Atari 2600, but none of those games were really my favorite. Um, I would have to go to... Sega Genesis? There was a game on there called uh, Buck Rogers Countdown to Doomsday that I just played the crap out of. And it may have been because I was young and single and living in a dingy um, uh, studio apartment in San Francisco and didn't have cable, but I did have a Sega Genesis, so I played the crap out of that game. And the other game would probably be Another World, which was a, a guy gets transported to another planet and it was a kind of a, you know, you had to, it was a linear story about a guy trying to escape from aliens. Um, it's kind of hard to describe. It was a great game. Um, it was on the PC. Uh, I have no doubt that there are some hardcore gamers out there that know uh, what game I'm talking about. But I would have to say that those two games are probably my favorite on the older, older systems. Um, yeah. Firefly4F4 asks, Question for AJ. What is the worst problem facing the world today? which the general public isn't aware of. Personally, I think the upcoming invasion of the nano koalas from Proxima Centauri should be our largest concern. Nano koalas are so over. The biggest unknown threat facing the world today is not knowing what the threat is. Not even I know! Some terrible multi-tooth terror is plotting against us, and we don't even know about it! Flee! Flee from the thing that we don't know about! Now well, that's enough of that. Remember, if you have a question that you want to ask intimate questions, leave it down below in the comment section. I have no addendum to that statement. So until next time, my smart little smurfs, this has been Jason with a D.
Hey everybody, it's me, the monster with the mostest, Oswald. And this is my lovely and talented partner, Nameframe. Say hi, Nameframe. Hey. Hey, Nameframe, I heard some gossip. Well, keep it to yourself. My mama didn't raise me to be a gossip. But I gotta tell somebody. My mama raised me to be impulsive and incapable of keeping secrets. Let's just do the shout out. Okay, I guess I'll just have to gossip with Fundy Monster about what I heard about you. What? Shout outs, you said. LJ Man. Are you a Spanish superhero with powerful J powers? Dragana Dorovska. You are a Russian dragon wizard, and I am not supposed to talk to Russian dragon wizards. Sorry. Please don't burn me alive with your fire breath or turn me into borscht. Iron Feast. I had an Iron Feast once. I ate the front grill of a Studebaker. It tasted like tetanus. Solar Dragon 007. I'm sorry you're solar powered. You can only kidnap maidens on bright sunny days, I bet. Me night. Every night is me night. Or it would if my mom would let me eat five gallons of ice cream and watch six hours of Care Bear reruns. Expecto Patronum. How does a magic spell sub? Necromorph Hunter. Oh, thank you for hunting those icky necromorphs. I used to hunt them, but after I mistook my neighbor for one, I had my hunting license taken away. Crypt Keeper. Oh, hey, sorry your show on HBO got canceled, like, 20 years ago. Filling your downtime with YouTube, huh? The legendary side effect. One time I had a legendary side effect. I dared myself to eat 40 pounds of dried beans, and I did it. I had butt burps so bad they evacuated my neighborhood. Birds were falling out of the sky. Nate Boozer. I hope you don't live up to your name, Nate, unless you have some kind of boozer code that your whole family has to follow. Like, uh, we all gotta drink. That's the boozer code. The Fuzzy Bridges have a Fuzzy Bridges code that I have to follow. Be cute. So, I got that one down to a T. Remember, if you sobbed and you would like to have a retarded monster and a withering magic picture frame, shout your name out, then leave a request down in the comment section. Okay, Spill, what is the gossip you heard about me? I heard that you like kissing men. That's it? Yes, you like kissing men. Like, that's all you kiss. If it's a man, you like kissing them. I don't like kissing all men. But I do like kissing men. What about me? You want to kiss me? No. You answered that pretty fast. And pretty bluntly. Oh, to do here with even more suggestions for what you could have done instead of watching YouTube. Freighter Chaos says, instead of wasting almost 20 minutes watching a grown man play with glorified sock puppets, I could have spent the time equipping my cat with bionic prosthetics and lasers and unleashing it upon the world. Moo ha 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 ha. So our little show prevented a bionic cat fueled holocaust? Wow. I wonder how many other catastrophes, holocausts, and apocalypses we've prevented. McKenna McLaughlin says, instead of watching a grown man play with puppets, I could have been out there traumatizing the crystal masturbating, raw food eating, ghost hunting, dolphin loving idiots with German dungeon porn. That's a pretty specific target. How many crystal masturbating, raw food eating, ghost hunting, dolphin loving idiots could there be? Four? I mean, what if you encounter a crystal masturbating, raw food eating, ghost hunting idiot who hates dolphins? Do you just traumatize them with a lower dose of porn? And how do you know that they'll be traumatized instead of aroused? Then you'll have a horny crystal masturbating, raw food eating, ghost hunting, dolphin loving idiot on your hands. Microbloganism says, instead of watching the show, I could have made an art installation for children out of earwax and crack cocaine. Oh, well, 
How disgusting and illegal of you! I hope if you ever create this sculpture, it's not the first in a series of works constructed from body secretions and Class A substances. I would hate to see the pus and heroin sculpture, or the booger and crystal meth relief anytime soon, but knowing what I know about modern art, you'd probably become famous. <laughs>